welcome to Educating Shani. I'm Shani and I survived an eating disorder. Hi Shani, hi! <clears throat> I've got a few videos for you guys this week. One is going to be a personal update because it's been a really long time since I've given you like a, you know, mental update, physical health update, all the health updates and other things. So that's something you're going to see this week. And you're also going to see another video that has to do with Eugenia, but it's not directed towards her at all. Um, and then this video, I'm going to react to a video that a friend of mine sent to me and said that I should react to it. So it's called, this is from a guy, okay, called 50 Shades of Chest Pains. Love the name. Have not watched this yet. My friend was like, do a blind react in a video. So, and it's called, it's called Educating Shani Hater Doesn't Get Eugenia Cooney Commentary. Okay, let's do this. Here we go. I will be the first to admit that Eugenia Cooney has basically become its own genre on YouTube. I like his personality already. I'm scared. Is this going to be bad? I'm scared. Educating Shani posted on her Instagram stories uh, how she was very upset by this very weird video criticizing her, so I decided to do a dive into it. To change Eugenia, she knows that she's not going to help her, she knows that she's not going to fix her, she's just, she's making money, and she's getting subscribers, and she's getting views, and... Yes, educating Shani knows she's not going to change Eugenia, that's not the point. The point is to use Eugenia's name for educational purposes. That's any video on Eugenia. Thank you, sir. We all know we're not going to be able to change her, we can't get through. Jacqueline Len was the closest exactly. to her, and she failed at it. Yeah. You don't think we all know that? Yeah. That's the name of the channel, by the way. Does she really think we're not aware of this? Awareness is educating people, and she's no fucking different than fucking Eugenia. Like she. Yes, educating Shani is different. She has admitted and is in recovery for an eating disorder. And for someone who claims to be so caring about this issue, you seem to be very willing to dismiss Shani's own struggle with ED as well. Like fucking. She has fucking how-to be anorexic videos. The, the, all of her videos. No, Educating Shani doesn't. I searched through her channel. There's no video titled anything of the sort. There are some vlogs that do document her recovery, which includes relapses, which like, include- you're joking, right? Like, you're actually joking, right? Like, are you joking? This cannot, you cannot be serious. You can't. Whew, this guy, I love his personality. What is his real name? I want to call him by his real name. His channel is- Fifty Shades of Chest Pains. I don't know his real name. Let me see if I can, hold on. Let me go to his about. Watch me make an idiot of myself. That's why his description is, love it. Okay, I don't know his name, but he seems pretty cool. So thanks, bro, for standing up for me. That's nice. It's pro and a thought. Educating Shani doesn't. I searched through her channel. There's no video titled anything of the sort. Mm -hmm. There are some vlogs that do document her recovery, which mm -hmm. includes relapses, mm -hmm. which includes pro and thoughts. Mm -hmm. but which is why I'm here. That for actually encouraging people to have an eating disorder. I'm so fucking fed up with people trying to kick off Eugenia doing this like no anorexics in the pool bullshit. No, it's not about kicking off anorexics off YouTube. It's about calling out Eugenia Cooney on her hypocrisy. She's in denial that she relapsed. List and list and list of people that like have atrocities that are far worse than fucking Eugenia Cooney. And so? people are like... Educating Shani does videos on Eugenia Cooney because she has a personal connection to the issue plaguing Eugenia Cooney. Oh, I like That's this why guy. would do videos of any sort. Of He's literally saying everything I'm thinking. That's weird. We should collab. Give me a call. Because they have a kid. Like. Educating Shani does videos on Eugenia Cooney because she has a personal connection to the issue plaguing Eugenia Cooney. That's why anyone would do videos of any sort of topic. Yeah. Because they have a connection to it. You mm -hmm. can't dictate and decide what people should do videos on. If you care about those subjects so much, you do videos on them. I searched through her channel. Diet Coke Head does not have any videos on those kinds of issues. Oh dear. Don't virtue signal. Like Eugenia isn't triggering anybody that has that doesn't have Yes. Eugenia yes. Cooney is triggering. Yes, maybe not on YouTube, not on the Reddit forum, because those would ban those things. Well, mm -hmm. Reddit would. Yeah. But there are a ton of pro anna websites that yes, Eugenia Cooney is very popular on. I covered in my last video on eating disorders some of those fans Eugenia Cooney has and how they express their thoughts. 
Tumblr seems to be a home for it. If you just go down on the R, R Eugenia Cooney subreddit and people are like, oh my god, this disgusting bitch, she's so gross. I just hate her. I hope she dies. I hope. I don't agree with those people either. I think it's gross to call somebody a disgusting bitch or, you know, like, or I think that's really mean. I'm just saying. She just starts herself to death. No, that's not what the Eugenia Cooney Reddit forum is doing. I'm in a sassy mood today, so I apologize. This is probably not a good day to be filming this, but you're gonna get what you get, okay? Yes, they point out the li God, this disgusting bitch, she's so gross. I just hate her. I hope she dies. I hope she just starts herself to death. No, that's not what the Never say that. Reddit forum is mm -mm. doing. Yes, they point out the likelihood of her dying is very high, but yeah. none of them want her to die. They want her to survive. Mm -hmm. That's why they talk about her. Yeah, images. Like, nobody looks at Eugenia and magically gets one. Like, it's not contagious. It's not corona. It's not... That may be true, but that doesn't relieve Eugenia Cooney of the responsibility of the influence she has for people who are already very uh, close to being able to develop that disorder. And this woman, she indeed does say, yeah, you need to have a pre-existing condition to be influenced by Eugenia Cooney. That mm -mm. still doesn't nope. excuse Eugenia Cooney. Mm -mm. It's because... Everyone feels entitled to details of Eugenia's private life. No, people are just calling her out on her lies, which, yes, would entail exploring details of her life to prove what those lies are. The only person that's really getting hurt by all of Shani's fucking videos directed towards Eugenia is Eugenia. It's not doing anybody a lick of fucking good. And it's, it's just, it's, yeah. it's better than just like watching her die. When I see a homeless man on the street, I always give him cash, always. I know I shouldn't, but I do, because I can see him struggling. There's not much I can do. I can't give him a home. I can't give him a job, but you know what? I can give him $5 to go get some McDonald's or something. At least I'm trying something. Is Eugenia, it's not doing anybody a lick of fucking good. And it's, it's just, it's... No, Eugenia is loving these videos. She talks about them constantly. It's what's been flooding her Twitch feed um, for a while now, where she's like talking about, oh yeah, I better still understand me. She loves talking about it because it seems to be the only positive attention she gets when people are concerned for her. And it's, it's just, it's sick. It's, it's the new Britney Spears. Ironically, she is right about that one. Because yes, Eugenia Cooney is a lot like Britney Spears. She has a very controlling, abusive parent that wrecked her life. Well, first of all, thank you, Fifty Shades of Chess Pants. Message me on Instagram. I appreciate you making the video. I appreciate you reacting to that and to debunk, be debunking her lies and exaggerations and stuff. I really do appreciate that. It's been, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's been a rough week. For me, um, a rough few past days, especially uh, just having to see these videos and comments about me that are so harsh, but I knew that that's, you know, what would come if I talked about Eugenia Cooney, but there are some people on the internet that are just relentless and won't give up no matter what. And it's really starting to hurt. And I don't even like want to say their names out loud. All I know is that these people that I'm talking about are people that I know that I would not ever want to be friends with in real life. Cause you need a friend who understands that we're all human beings and we all make mistakes. I've said stupid things on YouTube before. I've done stupid things on YouTube before. It, do it doesn't mean that I am this vile, evil, abusive person that some of these people are accusing me of being. It's really, really hurtful and, um, and I'm, I've, I know I've said stupid things. I can't think of anything, but I'm sure I have said and done stupid things on YouTube. Everyone does. And YouTube was a lot different when I very first started. It was a lot different than it is today. T today is like, every little tiny little thing is picked apart <laughs> and i actually feel bad for the big youtubers that are getting picked apart and canceled except the ones that need to be like if 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 there's like a danger do you know what i mean um but like it's it's not easy um and i'm a fraction of 
what they have to go through. I'm dealing with a fraction of that. And so I can't even imagine what those people have to deal with. I have more respect for them now than ever if they have to deal with even more than what I'm dealing with. Cause for me, it's just a few people, but for those people, it's like millions of people or hundreds of thousands or whatever. So it makes me feel for the bigger YouTubers out there. Like I, I wish that the world would understand that we are all human beings and that we all make mistakes. And um, if there's something I feel the need to apologize for, I will. I guess I'll admit that um, there was a time when there were people that were trying to be constructively critical to me and I took it as hate and for that I apologize for that I look back and I'm like I was in my eating disorder that's what Eugenia is doing right now I was so diseased that I didn't care about that and so I just I couldn't hear it and I got defensive and so for that I apologize that is a really shitty thing to do and uh, now looking back I'm grateful for those people the ones that did give actual constructive criticism there's still people that I'm very hurt by that I'm not gonna apologize to for being upset by them. But there were a couple people where I can see now, now that I'm out of it, I can see what they were trying to do. And so to those people, you know who you are out there, thank you for um, speaking up and trying to help me. And I really apologize for the way that I acted back then. So, well, if you have any other videos or things you would like me to react to or talk about, let me know in the comments below. And I've got a couple more videos for you this week that I'm working on for you. So just let me know what you guys would like to see. And thanks for all the love and support. And please be kind to one each other. Be kind to one each other. I was going to say be kind to each other or be kind to one another. And it became be kind to one each other. So be kind to one each other, others. And thank you again, 50 Shades of Chest Pains, for that video. Um, you said everything that I don't dare to say out loud, so thank you. But, um, but stay tuned, I've got some things to say coming. So, stay tuned. Okay, I love you guys, I'll see you later. And remember forever and always, you are beautiful, you are worth it, and I am too. Thank you for watching, bye! Love you guys!